sold for full asking price of 120 with shipping within seconds of listing it, found it a yard sale, bought it for a dollar, took a best offer of 175 plus shipping. Oh my goodness, this sold for $500 on Mercari. Wow, so 15 into 300, that is awesome. Hey, Mellow Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And this is going to help all of us learn. So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It is a screenshot that says, share your best March Bolo. So basically I invite everybody in the Facebook group to share their best Bolo. And I also invite my Bolo Buddies YouTube members to join in on this as well. So members do get a shout out or a mention and they are also linked down in the description below. So if you see me pop up an eBay store or a YouTube channel, they are members at level two and they get the perks. So if you'd like to join memberships, awesome. If not, it's completely free to be a part of this video. You just, um, to get the perks, you have to join at level two. So let's get started with the first big money bolo. And it says, sold this Anthony Robbins personal power CD set for $79.95. Paid $8 at the Goodwill and knew right away to grab it because I found it at the same Goodwill a few years ago. Sold in less than a week. And this is what it looks like. Anthony Robbins, personal power. So I wonder if that's like a motivational thing or, huh, that's interesting. Bolo Buddies member Champagne Taste 73. This is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. So the eBay stores are linked down below. If you go down and click on them, you can click on the heart and that will allow you to follow their store and you'll get updates when they post new items or when they um, send out coupons to their viewers, okay? So definitely be sure to do that as well. So what did she sell? Found this at Cause for Paws thrift store. Paid 17, didn't really think it would sell or at least not for as much. So I put a good price on it and it sold in two days for $60. Not bad for a turtle. It's a stained glass turtle lamp. How cute is that? Bought from Goodwill for 99 cents and sold it for $84.99. Plus buyer paid $69.10 to have it shipped to the UK. Left positive feedback. It is an Insco Jazz Greats Collection Billie Holiday Music Box Gold Bless the Child Tune. And this is what it looks like. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get music boxes, if they don't tell me the song, I'm just like, I don't even try because I cannot figure out the songs. Let me know if you guys uh, struggle with that as well. Here's another one sh from Champagne Taste 73. She said, bought this Vilroy and Bach teapot, cream, and sugar at a thrift store for $25. Sold in two days for $75 plus shipping. She said, yay me. All right, this is what it looks like. And it says Bergenland pattern. So she was able to identify the pattern. So if you can identify the pattern, definitely put that in your title. Got these at an estate sale, bulk buy. Paid about 15. Buyer paid my asking price. It is a Midsummer Murders DVD set 1 through 18 Acorn Media Series Mystery Tested. Sold for $299.99. Wow. So 15 into 300. That is awesome. So my first of the two bolos I got to share here. Woohoo. So this is a clean cut under counter touchless paper towel dispenser. What? Touchless paper towel dispenser? That sounds kind of handy. Yes, really it was. $15.99 at Goodwill. I ran comps and scooped it up. Sold 
for an offer of $175. A paper towel dispenser for $175? What? This is my second bolo. Got it for 50 cents at my local thrift shop where all the plush is 50 cents and was asking 60 based on comps, but took a best offer of 50. That's 100% profit, so happy dance. It is a Scentsy Buddy Blanket Lovey with an elephant head. Not all are quite this much, but some are really good bolos. And if you get them for a dollar or so, they will still turn a great profit. Thanks to Rebel, the Rebel reseller, for all the plush info on her YouTube channel and to Bolo Buddies, me, um, for sending me to watch her stuff too. All you guys on YouTube are hugely helpful and inspire me, inspiring. I'm working on my YouTube channel too. It's a progress, but edited my first video, so we'll see how it goes. All right, this is what it looks like. It is a Scentsy Buddy. I've never seen a Scentsy Buddy lovey. Have you guys? Okay, so she said she is starting her YouTube channel and it is Basket Case Mama's Fab Finds. And that is her eBay store and her YouTube channel. So this is what it looks like. So go show her some love with a sub. Let's get her started with some new subscribers. This one purchased for $1.50, sold after five to six months for full asking price plus shipping. All right. The next one picked up at the Goodwill for $2.99, sold right away for full asking price plus shipping. Um, this one is Where's Waldo? Now, I have sold something similar to this before, and mine didn't sell for this much. I, if I remember correctly, it didn't. But um, it's called Find It. Where's Waldo? Game. Find It Game. A shelf-contained adventure. 2017 Waldo version. $34.99 plus shipping on that. And um, that was a cool find. Got in an online auction after dividing everything out, I probably had about $3 into this. I accepted an offer of $35 from a repeat customer. It is a Mark's Disneyland playset hobby horse parade float Main Street Vintage 1960s Cream. And this is what it looks like. And this comes from Bolo Buddies member Vintage Spice. And she really knows her Mark's items, her toys. Definitely go check out her YouTube channel. She's incredible. Found this songbook in my late mom's piano bench. I had never heard of Dino, but after Googling, concluded mom had purchased the book in 2008 or 2009 at his show in Bronson. Is it? Uh oh. <laughs> I forget my elementary, what I learned in elementary school. Is M.O. Montana or is that, um, is it Montana? We're going to go with Montana. <laughs> Many of Dino's sheet music books are on eBay, but they there was only one of these. Priced at over 100 There were none available anywhere online. I wanted it gone quickly, so priced at 85 with free media mail. Sold in seven days. Nice bolo to pick up at yard sales. This is what it looks like. It is a Dino cart... Hold on. Cart Sonoskis Milan Seller Piano Arrangement Solo Sheet Music Book. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me start with thank you, Courtney. I love selling vintage baby clothes. I bought a bunch of dresses on Whatnot for $86 shipped. Sold three of them for $78 plus shipping. I kept a couple of them, so my average cost of sales for the ones I'm selling is $5 each. I'm so glad you had these dresses. Thanks for matching up the bloomers with the right dress. Hope you have more soon. This one comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313. This is her eBay store. And she purchased these dresses from my Whatnot show. And you can see here, she sold three of them. It looks like one sold for $24.65, one sold for $29, and the other one sold for $24.65. And cost of goods was around $5 a piece. And she did keep some of them that she put on some of her baby dolls. Um, and if you watch my videos on a regular basis, I showed you pictures of her adorable baby dolls in another video. So you're gonna have to look around for, for that one. I can't remember which video it's in, but super, super cute. The items she bought from me 
were just incredible and looked so good on her baby dolls. So thank you, Heather, for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, if you guys would like to follow me on Whatnot, that would be amazing. There is a link down below in the description. If you use that link to join Whatnot, you are going to get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. So go down there in the description and join and get $15 free money. You can buy something to sell, right? I mean, we're all resellers. Go buy something, flip it, make some money. All right, this one says, I keep having to give a shout out to Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter for his awesome find. Oh, for this awesome find. His estate sale hunting tips helped me be able to find this awesome vintage PC game in a box of old paperwork on the bottom shelf of a cabinet on the second day of an estate sale. I found this game nestled in there and knew it was gonna be good. I couldn't wait to get home and list it. I bought it as part of a big box of items. I picked it up for 10, so probably under a dollar. I ended up taking a best offer of $225 before the night was through. It is a Zach McCracken and Alien Mindbenders IBM PC X2 PS-2 Tandy Incomplete but anyway shout out to primetime treasure hunter he has an incredible youtube channel i think he just hit fifty thousand subscribers definitely sub him up i will link him down below as well so that was a nice bolo all right the next item here picked up at the goodwill bins pay by the pound so maybe 75 cents Sold for full asking price of $54.99 plus shipping. Buyer is all in for $66.87. Sold in 48 hours, so a fast sale. When I picked it up, I had no clue what it was besides a strange looking animal. Just strange enough, I thought I better take a chance on it. I'm glad I did. It's a character in a video game. Um, it is, let's see, don't starve, or no wait, don't starve together. Rare beefalo plush plushie official k-l-e-i entertainment and that is definitely a weird looking plush i probably would have grabbed it as well this next one comes from childhood finds and this is her youtube channel she said i have to share this one because it's so unique and beautiful i got it for i got it at my very first yard sale of 2023 and paid about a dollar for it i listed it high and took a best offer in less than two days for 65 dollars and it is a vintage ornate footed vanity tray framed lace abalone shell butterfly inlay and it does say read so probably additional information down in the description but how cool is that this next person wrote most of my sourcing is from the free page i'm sorry free pages and curb alerts lately can't be free you know you cannot and let's see what this is. It says vintage MCM TV trays, fiberglass from country landscape. Oh, I'm sorry, farm country landscape, metal legs times two, sold for $50. Some of the screenshots are really small, so I have to lean in. That's what I'm doing. My eyes are just not as good as they used to be. Purchased in a huge video game lot, which ended up being about two to five per game overall. It is a Conker's bad fur day nintendo 64 2001 oh my goodness this sold for 500 dollars on mercari it is complete and cib stands for complete in box just in case you didn't know that was one i didn't know so i thought i would share that with you guys so between two to five dollars for this and sold for 500 that is incredible i paid a little high for it 15, but if you can find this set for a lower amount or really most religious texts, great bolos. It says, it looks like it sold for $64.99. New the Mortal Messiah series Bruce R. McConkle six volume complete set LDS Mormon. So it looks like they're Mormon books and sold for $64.99. Cost of goods, 15 sold this shirt from the brand ibex ibex that i purchased from a local thrift store thrift city paid seven dollars and 99 cents and i listed it for 110 took a best offer of 99 took one day to sell i've been looking for this brand for a while and now it feels good to scratch it off my bolo list ibex 
Never heard of Ibex. It looks like it's a plaid flannel wool shirt. And this is what it looks like. Okay, let's see if I can pronounce this. This Cheberoska? Cheberoska? Cheberoska. I think that's how you say it. Plush. Also known to some as the Russian Mickey Mouse. Bought for $2 at the Val Value Village and sat in my store for a long while waiting for the perfect buyer. It is, um, looks like it's in a little sailor outfit and it is a rare toy and it looks like it sold in Canada for $199.99. I'm not sure what the conversion is, but definitely a big money bolo. Check it out. Never seen one of those. Found at a yard sale, bought it for a dollar, took a best offer of 175 plus shipping, best return of ROI, return of investment. <laughs> I kept wanting to say income um, yet. So a dollar into 175, that is amazing. Vintage nine inch Heisner, H-E-I-S-S-N-E-R, terracotta gnome, West Germany musician in great condition. And this is what it looks like. Bought this at the bins, 100% silk but had so many spots and beads missing everywhere. Sold it for full asking price of $199 within two hours of being listed. So the item is a mess. It has spots and beads missing and still sold for almost $200. I'm gonna pop it up here for you guys. That is absolutely crazy. It says vintage tan chew, 100% silk beaded, and that's all I can see there. Wow, that's crazy. Just goes to show, I mean, who knows? Maybe somebody's going to fix it. Maybe they're going to dye it. Maybe they're going to use it for, um, what do you call it? Crafting? I'm not sure. I purchased this Hermes 3000 Hebrew typewriter from the 1960s at an animal rescue thrift store for $10. I listed it for asking price of $1,600 and accepted an offer of $1,300. This is my biggest sale ever. And this comes from Bolo Buddies member, Crazy Little Critter and Vintage Collectibles. And it's a typewriter. Check it out. Found in a storage unit. I made my money back in all the furniture. So this is all profit. Sold in less than 48 hours with my 10% promo for the month, buyer all in for 97 and change. Took me like two weeks to get a battery so that I could even test it. It's a Ben 10 Omnitrix watch, FX lights and sounds by Bandai 2006 and it works. How cool is that? Got a sealed Bionicle at the L, I'm sorry, SLC Ben's nine ounces, so a little over a dollar, and took a best offer of $99. Yeah, these Lego Bionicles, especially if you can find them in the original packaging, definitely a bolo. Even if they're not sealed and you have all of the parts, you can sell them. I've done really well with Bionicles. Huge bolo. I paid $1.19 at my local Goodwill. This is a Tamagotchi, a rare one at that, with the music notes printed on it. Seems that Tamagotchi connections do the best. Sold for full asking price of 120 with shipping. Within seconds of listing it, it had 26 views, three likes, an offer, and a message. Thank you so much, Courtney, for inspiring me to get out of my comfort zone and explore new areas like plush and toys. I am now addicted. Oh my goodness, plush and toys is so fun. He sold this on Mercari for $120. Found this beauty at a local Goodwill in Jackson, Mississippi. Paid $1.94. Could only find one other sale on eBay and it was an auction. So I decided to try my luck. I took eBay's advice and started the bidding at $115. Within minutes, I had my first bid. Could never imagine the price would climb to $670. <gasps> it's a glassy baby. If you don't know what Glassy Baby is, get familiar with it. I have never found one. I would love to find one. Um, I'm not really sure if they're in my area. It seems like um, certain parts, certain states and certain areas, they're more common. But 
This is what it looks like. $670. Paid $1.94. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love a good bolo. All right. I'm new here and a new reseller. This jelly cat was my first big sale. I got it at an auction with a lot of toys. Calculating it, I paid around a dollar. I thought that I could sell it for 35. Somebody offered me 20 only 30 minutes after I listed. So I asked Rebel, the Rebel Re Rebel is the Rebel reseller on YouTube. This is her channel. She is wonderful and she said that my price was low. I decided to price it high at 115 but I came down to $80 on the next day. After two days, I sold it for $80 on Poshmark. I'm so happy. Thank you for all your videos. I'm learning a lot. That is awesome. And I have a video also on Jelly Cat. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely go check that out. Jelly Cat can be a big money bolo. Found this Manhattan toy company, Black Leopard Plush, at the Goodwill for $5. Just sold for full asking price of $150 plus shipping on eBay. Only took about a week to sell. This is what it looks like. It is a 30-inch Manhattan Toy Company Black Spotted Leopard Jaguar Panther Plush Big Cat. Yes, anything realistic like lions, tigers. Uh, I sold a cheetah. Big money in these things. The bigger, the better. I know they're a pain to ship, but mine I sold was probably about this big and it went for $150. And you guys are going to see that in a video so stay tuned. Just crazy, crazy. I found this vintage Eden lamb thermal plush at my local church thrift store. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for full asking price of $135. This is my biggest plush sale to date. And I have to thank Courtney and Rebel, the Rebel reseller for their plush videos. I would have never known to pick this up. Took a few months to sell on eBay. Oh my goodness, it's, it's so cute. It's an Eden Blue Terry Lamb Waffle Weave Thermal Plush Floppy Toy, vintage stuffed animal. And yeah, the thermal, anytime you can find the thermal ones, there are so many big money bolo plush, but there are so many more bread and butter. So if you decide you're gonna list plush, don't get discouraged if they don't sell super fast. Plush is typically long tail unless you find the big money ones. But when you find them, you can usually source them so cheap. And some of them just go for crazy money. $135 on this little lamb. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Look at all those shout outs to the Rebel Reseller. I've been telling you guys to go follow her. It looks like some people are listening and it's paying off. Um, Rebel and I both like to sell plush, so you will see plush category videos on both of our channels. So be sure to check those out and definitely educate yourself, educate yourself, educate yourself on which plush to look for. But um, I pick up the bread and butter also. I enjoy um, helping people find like those plush that they need. You know, there's always somebody looking for a particular plush that maybe they lost, especially those vintage ones and the loveys and things like that. All right, you guys go join my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I want to see your best Bolo. So up next will be April. So go to the Facebook group and share your best April Bolo. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. If you've been here a while, thanks for coming back. And I will see you guys at the next one. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. One down below and a subscribe button. Um, if you'd subscribe, that'd be awesome. And thanks for watching.